Welcome to this, the first of a series of videos in which I'm going to be demonstrating how Enterprise Web Developer, uh, otherwise known as EWD, turns the development of an advanced AJAX application really into an almost trivial exercise. And there's quite a few tutorials and documents on the basics of EWD out there uh, so that you can learn how to use it, but I actually thought it would be useful to take a look at just what EWD is capable of doing when you use all of its features to their full potential. Uh, in particular when you make use of its custom tag features um, this allows you to encapsulate and automate the use of for example an industry standard JavaScript framework. And really when you combine EWD's custom tags with its fragment based AJAX architecture and its automated session mapping you'll find that you've really got the fastest and easiest development framework that's possible. So in this first video, let, 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 me, let me just quickly demonstrate an application that I've built using it. In subsequent videos, we'll, uh, I'll take you through how the application was actually constructed. So uh, you can actually see this starting page of the application here. It's been built using the Yahoo YUI widget library. And you can see two of those widgets uh, uh, in use here. In the middle of the page, there's the um, floating dialog panel uh, and it contains a simple login form. So you can see the panel float, I can move it around and so on. And at the top we've got a second widget, a menu bar, and it's got two options, home and about. If we click the about option you'll see uh, about as a sub option and let's click that about option. And the uh, login panel disappears and an about panel appears instead. Let's go back to the menu bar and click the home option. It's got two sub options. Uh, we'll click the login option and the login form reappears and replaces the, the about panel. So let's log in. Uh, actually if we enter invalid credentials like that and click login um, we get an alert window telling us that we've made an invalid login attempt. So let's log in properly. Uh, the login panel disappears and if you look closely the menu bar has changed. The home option has lost its login sub option so we've now just got to uh, quit and we now have this new main option demos which has a single sub option of library. So let's select library and you'll see that up comes a, a new dialog panel embedded inside of which is a tab panel with two tabs iTunes and DVDs. Let's move over here a bit. Um, and embedded inside the iTunes, you know, iTunes tab panel is a further tab panel with two tabs, by artist and by title. If we click the by title tab, and you can see we could search by title. We click the DVDs tab, and you can search my DVDs by either title or director. But let's go back to the iTunes by artist tab. I'm going to enter an artist. Let's put in, say, brand X and press query. And back come the search results presented in another uh, YUI widget, uh, this time what's known as a data, pan a data table. Uh, and that shows all the tracks uh, that I have in my iTunes library by, by, by brand X. Uh, the columns are sortable, so I can reorder by track name, for example, ascending and descending, or by composer, again, ascending and descending. And if I click on the two, it's a paged panel, so I get page two of the matching, um, matching results. Okay, so that's basically the application. Uh, it really is running against a real database. In this case, it's an export of my iTunes library. It's about 10,000 tracks uh, in it. I've imported it into MDB, which is an open source clone of SimpleDB. So I'll just finally go up here and log out. Uh, we 
using the quit button. The EWD session is terminated. Uh, we're redirected back to uh, my MDB server's homepage. So that's a quick run through the application. In the second video, I'll start to show you how it was built using EWD. And I think you'll discover, to your surprise perhaps, just how little there is to building this kind of an application. Okay, see you later.